Pack your bags. Correspondent Manuel Bajorquez is taking us on a getaway to Mexico, near the town of Tulum. We built top to down. So you built this from the top to the bottom? Yes. Walking into Azulik Umay with its winding pathways and cascading vines is like entering another world. But the point, says Eduardo Neda, is to feel more connected to ours. Asymmetric, organic. Not symmetric, so it's like nature. Exactly. Nature is more than a muse for the self-taught architect who goes by the single name Roth. So nature was your school? Yes, nature is my school. You see, in the nature is not square angles. Uh, there are not square planets. But in our life, we live in square places, and we transport in square places, and work in square places, so our mind becomes square. You think we've gotten too far away from the natural form? Yes, so much away. So when Roth decided to build an artist community, gallery, and home in the jungle near Tulum, Mexico, he enlisted the help of the people who knew the land best, the indigenous Mayans. We know that we will make so many rooms around, but not exactly how, how big, how it will be built. So it's all very organic. Yes, and we use the ancestral techniques to make everything handmade. We couldn't bring uh, heavy machines here. So no blueprint, no. no heavy machinery. No. And you're going with the flow of the jungle, of the trees. Yes. You really did not cut down one Any. tree. We don't cut any. And in fact, trees are an essential element in the design. There are 200 trees living in this house. 200 trees 200. in this house? Inside. Many of the tunnels and walkways are made of bejuco, a sustainable vine that grows in the trees. The arts community is his latest project, but his original masterpiece is just about 18 miles from here at this beach in Tulum, where over the last decade, a small cabana he built has grown into one of the area's most popular resorts, the Azulic. The name is a combination of the Spanish word for blue and the Mayan word for wind. So everything was improvised. That's why the hotel is so strange, because it's, uh, it's evolved like in the nature. Bridges connect nest-like perches and guests are encouraged to ditch phones and air conditioning in favor of the ocean breeze. Tourists flock here, even if just for a photo. Back at the arts community, Roth's goal is to attract and nourish talent. From ceramic artists to locals who know this form of macrame, like Luis Camar. Aquí, this your concept, your design is still in the brain, sí. in the mind, and you're carrying it out, not from out here. In much the same way, Roth and his team built this whimsical place. I have to say, walking around, I feel like I'm a child again because you're climbing <laughs> trees and crossing a drawbridge, and people are smiling. It does bring you back to something very... Yeah, it's playful. It's playful. You see, in the natural, everything is playful. All the beat of singing, everybody, is a celebration. We have to recover this happiness, this celebration of nature.